For many East Texans, it's becoming increasingly hard to pay rent and even their mortgages. One organization offering rent assistance shares that they've been running out of funding every month. Our Nomi Sanchez takes a deeper look into the problems, leaving many in despair. Good evening. Well, it all comes down to a lack of affordable housing. State reports show that rent prices went up as much as 40% in taxes from 2021 to 2022. Increases like these affect our low-income communities the most, and in East Texas, those effects are showing. Hundreds. That's how many East Texans are seeking PATH's one-time rent assistance. How does it make you feel, I mean, seeing this problem and, you know, obviously, seeing that the need is there, but not being able to help every time. It, it's really hard. I mean, it's certainly a struggle, but I see my staff on a daily basis have a real struggle with the fact that we have to say no so often. Funded by local community donations and a few state grants, Executive Director Andrea Wilson shares their nonprofit can't help everyone. When it comes to why families are struggling, she shares this. They just cannot afford the rent. We lack enough affordable housing to meet the need of the families. Reports by Rent.com show the average rent price for a two-bedroom apartment stands at 1550 in Tyler, 1215 in Longview, and 982 in Lufkin. When it came to places with low ranges from $500 to $700, options were either none or very few. Uh, land has increasingly got more expensive in Texas. We've seen labor uh, prices go up, especially with uh, labor shortages that we're witnessing, especially with skilled labor. But what we saw a dramatic increase, and this happened around the pandemic with supply chain issues, is the cost of materials has gone uh, through the roof. However, there is hope. House Bill 1058, which was just passed in Texas, aims to encourage builders to invest in more affordable housing projects through tax credit relief. So it'll provide more funding, and anytime there are more funding, that'll directly mean that there are more affordable housing units that we're able to build. In the meantime, Wilson shares the best way to help our neighbors comes from knowing the problem exists in the first place. The more you learn, the more you're going to want to be involved to become an advocate for those families through our city and our state. Nomi Sanchez, KLTV 7 News. Without local support, East Texas families struggling with rent are susceptible to the possibility of ending up in shelters or going homeless. If you'd like to learn more about PATH, you can scan the QR code on your screen or you can visit the big red box section from KLTV.com. We'll be right back.